All right, welcome everybody. <coughs> um, I today, Bastabots.com. Um, I will be doing a review of <coughs> the Longway um, 30 volt 10 amp power supply. Uh, this has come to me courtesy of Banggood.com. Uh, I always laugh when I say that you are all in my mind. I find it <laughs> quite funny. Um, but joking aside, uh, I've been a um, personally shopped at Banggood for the past three years now and I really like their um, their service, the product. Uh, I use their product in nearly all of my electronics projects um, that you can find at plastabots.com. Um, I'll post that URL. Uh, anyway, uh, great place. Again, this has come to me courtesy of them and I'm going to do a quick review here. Um, you're not going to see an unboxing. As you can see, I'm getting right into the weeds here because frankly I find people taking new stuff out of boxes waste of time. Um, you can see that. You can Google that and get it elsewhere. Anyway, <clears throat> um, got a simple setup here. Um, got your typical um, El Cheapo um, digital multimeter. Uh, got the actual power supply with a setting. I'm using uh, an LED here that uh, is, is hooked up to the power supply and we can see that control through the, uh, uh, the, the brightness. Um, and then uh, I've got my handy current major, which is a high precision um, uh, current measurement tool. Um, really, really nice, really high quality because that thing obviously uh, is not that useful. Um, uh, anyway, if you want to research things, uh, the reason for this, the current ranger, um, research the term burden voltage and you understand why when we're checking current measurements using this is not that accurate uh, because it puts a burden voltage <clears throat> into that process. This will give you the exact current and as you can see right now really quickly that you're sh you know, we're showing you what that is. Anyway, uh, jumping right in, um, I've just got this um, LED hooked up to the power source and uh, my multimeter hooked up uh, checking voltage there and then I've got current uh, that's flowing through the LED there. Um, so I can sh we can show the the voltage setting as well as the actual current setting and, and, and the current limiting setting, right? Uh, and, and it's very fine here uh, because we're dealing with an LED with uh, low current, but um, you know, as we increase and decrease the voltage, we can see that LED um, uh, brightness changing. So anyway, uh, and the current value, 112, 113 milliamps goes up, but we can limit that it's a very fine setting when you get to this level, but if I can just get this right, where we're just seeing the LEDs come on. So we've got a setting here with a limit of about, you know, 20, according to this, about 20 milliamps according to the power supply, but we're, we're, we're seeing 32 milliamps going through. But you can see now, as I change the voltage, nothing changes, <clears throat> because that, that max uh, current is being restricted uh, through the LED. So voltage won't change, so if I do get to a point where I can drop the voltage, we might see the LEDs dim a bit or just go right off. Let's see where we go with it. There we go. So we can see a dim, uh, 4 milliamps, still got some brightness in the LEDs. And as we go up slowly, uh, looking at the current ranger, sorry for the quality here, it's not the best camera. You know, we limit, uh, see now, current is changing so we have some issues there ah. so there's a bit of um, I guess a flaw if you want to call it that where I had that current limit set to let's say 30 milliamps because this is more accurate and it, as I dropped it down it went past that so let's do that again you can watch the current ranger 40 milliamps 50 milliamps 60 milliamps 70 80 and then boom triggers and drops back down to what the limit was. So uh, I guess it's a word of caution. If you're using this power supply for that kind of purpose, you've got to be careful there. Now we're dealing with very low current here. Um, if I allow for that current, let's try allowing that current go up, maybe 100 milliamps, and see if we get that same issue with the limit. So we drop the voltage down, move it up, we'll probably hit over 100 milliamps, let's see, 130 milliamps, 140, voltage is getting near the max of the LED, which is 12 and change. So now I don't want to push it too hard because I don't want to fry the LEDs. But we're pushing 14 volts, 260 milliamps into the LEDs, and that, let's see if we can get the current limit there. So the current limiting at low amperage is not that, not that great. 
it, it's it's too fine of a adjustment. So I'd suggest that current limiting on this thing maybe in increments of <clears throat> you know 200 milliamps at a time might be more um, reasonable. So don't expect this this guy to be great for low current limitations, but maybe you know in the 200 to 500 milliamp ranges in increments. Um, I'd have to get another piece of hardware or you know uh, a large resistor to actually do a real test there. So anyway, um, buyer beware from that perspective in terms of current limiting. Um, just be cautious there that uh, uh, you're not expecting it to be high quality. You get a guy like the current ranger is going to give you a very accurate measurement in terms of you know what that current's looking like. Um, anyway, again, 180 milliamps. 180, so it's not that bad. It's about the, the, the trigger. So anyway, that is the, the first part of this review, just to give you an idea of the ability for this guy. And you can see that it, if you turn it slow enough, voltage, you know, your, your, your refinement is by uh, one tenth of a volt at a time. It's not bad, and you can see it on the voltmeter there. And if you're very fine, you can even, you know, uh, modify precision quite accurately there just do it very slowly. So it's not bad. Anyway, let's set this crap aside, get into the stuff that I like to get into. Tearing things apart. So I never really buy something and just use it as is. I would like to see how things work, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to quickly pop this sucker open and show you guys what this thing looks like inside. Take off the power connector. US power, I'll just give you an idea what the back looks like. It's got a little uh, fan there. Um, uh, switch for 110, 220 volts. Again, sorry for the, the quality, it kind of sucks. Um, where is my screwdriver? So I already pre loosened off these screws to make this quicker so I don't waste too much of your time. And if I had fast forward mode, I would do it. But I don't, because I'm not that good with camera stuff yet. Fairly much of a noob with this blog idea, being an old guy. Vlog, whatever they call those things these days. Anyway, let's see. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Now I'm not gonna touch anything because there's probably some remnant voltage on capacitors here that'll give me a good zap. Um, see the quality of this but just give me an idea of solder quality um, you know we can see some bridge soldering that's been done on the traces um, uh, obviously to deal with higher current areas um, it's it's a bit gloppy um, you know it does definitely look hand soldered um, you know a little bit overheating there but I wouldn't I wouldn't nothing yet jumps out at me as saying you know this is shoddy poor workmanship, yada 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 quality here. Um, nothing that I would be yet worried about causing a fire. Um, component wise, some quality stuff in there. Um, again, it's your standard, you know, input power um, components down here, um, transition to then output components, um, you know, in, output in this area here. Um, I gotta look at the actual uh, adjustment to the, the sort of the variable resistors. It's hard to show, but got one guy in there. I can't get an idea of what it what what the actual model is. I see JM on it, um, and it seems like a simple variable resistor concept. But this guy seems a little higher quality. Some blue and black for the voltage adjustment. A little higher quality again. I'm trying to get a gauge on what its what its model is. Um, WXD3-12. Um, I can't read the rest. Under 10k. It's a 10k variable resistor. So anyway, it looks a little higher quality, but it's it's hard to tell really. I can't I can't get a gauge on that there. Um, some large caps um, in there. Obviously, transformer <clears throat> um, heat sinks on some um, transistors in there. Uh, large heat sinks that are you know close to the fan uh, for cooling. Nothing is warm right now, um, for what it's worth. It's, nothing feels like it's overheating. Anyway, um, 
seems like a reasonably quality power supply. I will probably use it for projects that don't need, um, you know, high degrees of accuracy. I just need to know I'm putting out, you know, 5 volts, 12 volts, or in that range, and, you know, uh, enough current, you know, for a microcontroller like an ESP um, a device, a Wi Fi device, you know, 500 to 1 amp, or sorry, 500 milliamps to 1 amp, or, you know, LED power strips to, to test, you know, up to 3 amps or so, depending on the length of the, of the strip, stuff like that. I'm not dealing with high voltage. I suddenly go over 12 volts with my projects. Most of them are, you know, 3.3, 5, or 12. Anyway, um, that is the review of Banggood's Longway 30 volt 10 amp. I'll post some links on my my, um, my blog, plastabots.com, to uh, for coupons for you. Um, again, um, you know, nice product. Um, from a standpoint of service, I love Banggood service. They are the best service I've had for uh, purchases overseas. Better than Ali, better than DX, better than Gearbest or IC Station. All of those I've used them all, and Banggood, you know, are quick to respond and provide support. Uh, if you've got issues, they've always been good. Um, you know, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time I've always received my product, maybe sometimes late, um, but I get it. Um, and if I've had disputes, they've been resolved um, to my satisfaction. So I highly recommend um, their considering them as your source for electronic stuff and frankly their power prices are usually better and that's why I've tended to always fall back to buy at Banggood. Um, uh, if you find coupons especially or wait around for flash deals um, you get some good stuff. Anyway, hope you liked that review. It was relatively quick but I get to the meat potatoes. Um, I'll do more when I get more but um, stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.